Hey everybody, welcome back. Been a few days, but this should be the first episode going up on a Thursday, I believe this will go up, because I think Tuesday is going to be the last of Paper Mario, so hey, you get three of these a week now. Actually, four? I think? Because, yeah, schedules! Schedules are on my Monday vlog and on my Discord server. It'll be an up-to-date schedule for you. You came to see me play the game! So, last episode, the Umyad have uh, founded the Empire of Hispania. Of course, they just named it Umyad, because of course they did. But they have the color, so uh, when I usurp it one day, this is the uh, beautiful Spanish gold color that we will be. Looks nicer than ours. Ours is uh, kind of like a weird beige. Anyway, we have a lot of money right now, uh, so we're in a bit of an awkward situation. They're busy with some wars over here, and as you can see, busy with a rebellion. There's a largely Catholic rebellion going on here on uh, a lot of this French land that they've taken. Our alliance is broken down, which is super lame. We have no alliance anymore. Uh, yeah. Which is frustrating. I don't think I have any... He's a kinsman. Yeah, no. Nothing's, nothing's happening. Okay. Just looking through and thinking like, hey, nope. I'd really kill to get an alliance with that guy. How old is he? 19, so he's probably not going to be dead for a while. Got it. Well, we could always get an alliance with someone else, but honestly, I think on our own, we're kind of okay now. Uh, we get the backup of people around us because of holy wars. God, I forgot we have so little traits. Honest, lustful, skilled tactician. We have our new husband, who's really good. We actually have a lot of state marshal now. Our state skills in general are really good. I'm really happy with this. Um, as for where we need to be spending our money, we still have the marauding pirates, which just goes away on its own after, I think it's five years from the beginning. It sucks. Our tax is down in most of our counties, but... I'm kind of just feeling more keep upgrades. Let's uh, run the clock a little while we decide. Oh, uh, one of our guys is a trickster. God, I don't really like trickster. Experiment to experimentality up 30% for that, which can do negative stuff, I believe. Yeah, the enemy will never see it coming and neither will you. Uh, but the martial skill increase is kind of nice. So we're trying to get better castle towns and places, have, um, becomes a commander, nice. God, organized army is such a powerful, powerful, uh, position to have your marshal do. Or task, I guess. A technology, have we gotten up to, is it level 2 improved creep? Yeah. No. No. Just double checking, yeah, none of our places either in this have caught up. If you're wondering why it's sometimes flicked to, like, really high, if it's in between provinces and doesn't know what you're on, it just assumes your capital. So, and uh, another little thing. Known plots? Kill a Corteir mine? Apparently they really want that Corteir dead. The only thing I can stop is uh, this person wants to kill one of my uh, kinswoman. I'll tell them to stop. Actually, could I arrest you? No, I think you're in another country. Oh, you're in my country. Are you in my country? You have no money, so I don't care. All right, uh, we'll stop that just in case. And I can't imprison you. Yeah, I can't imprison you. Probably in another country. Yeah. Yeah, okay, got it. So right now, uh, Mr. I did hope you find a way to forgive me. Why can I just now arrest you? That's my chancellor. Did I just discover a plot? My chancellor is the target of a plot. I know that much. I don't know why can I rest him. Uh, okay. Can't upgrade our hospital yet uh, in our castle. And I'm af I, I, I want to get really good cavalry, but I'm afraid they're just going to overpower me with camels. So I think I want to really invest in skirmishing. Or not skirmishing, uh, the actual, like, melee fight. And for that, I want a lot of barracks. My throwing armor will amaze everyone. I am actually probably physically pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, 
Spear throne competition. We maimed someone last time we did this. Actually, no, someone else maimed someone. It wasn't us. Oh, shit. I think someone's maimed. Someone got mangled. One of my kinsmen got mangled. Shit. Wait, isn't this guy one of my commanders? He's one of my commanders. Oh, shit. He's maimed. Um, he, it wasn't me, was it? Too much. A spare carelessly hurled. Okay, it wasn't me who did it, at least. He's mangled. Oh. Yeah, he's never recovering from that, and he's probably gonna die. Shit. What a glorious day! <laughs> I no longer feel fair. Sweet, we became brave! Brave is a really good trait, so let me show you this one. I'll just, uh, do that. So it updates. Yeah, we can have more troops. Nice. Brave. Two martial skill, one personal combat skill, just another thing to keep me alive. My troops have extra morale defense when I lead them, which is very nice. All of my vassals have an increased opinion of me, except for people who are cowards, which I believe is the craven trait, uh, but that offsets the vassal opinion. So they don't have a negative opinion on me, they just don't get the bonus. And other brave people also get a bonus. So brave is a very nice trait to have. I'm surprised it doesn't come with prestige, actually. And right now we're still trying to see the realm prosper, so we're doing five years of peace. And let's, uh, let's upgrade that keep in the capital. I'm really happy with these keep upgrades. I feel like it's paying off pretty well. Oh, an apostate. Oh, it's our kinsman. Isn't it the mangled one? He has a high opinion of us. Even though he's a title claimant. He's not my heir, is he? He's the heir. Ah, uh, I don't like that he's the heir, um, because he's mangled. Burn him. Yay! I actually have to kill the member of the dynasty. I have become a dynastic kinslayer. Really? But, <sighs> he was an apostate! Oh, God! Minus, th oh, shit, that really sucks. And that doesn't just go away. He was an apostate! I didn't know that would happen! Shit. Okay, yeah, new heir, yeah. And I wanna vote. I wanna nominate an heir. Who did it give me? My brother, who hates my guts because he's my rival? Yeah, I kinda don't want him to inherit. My aunt. Does she even live in our country? No. Uh, kinsman. Oh, hey, you got rid of your crippling depression. I'm picking you for now. Unmarried heir. You should go get a wife. Wow, you're you're getting up there in age. Get some kids. Um. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Stewardship skill. That's always a safe one, right? Yeah. Do that. You guys get married. Have some kids. Have higher stewardship skill, develop some lands for me or something. What do you think of me? Oh, you're my kinsman. You don't like me very much because of that. I'm probably going to have a murder plot against me now. <laughs> Shit. Uh, life sucks. Yeah, he's my heir. And they're married. Sweet. Happy to hear it. Uh, okay, castle's already upgraded. Castle town, yeah. Um, arrived at my court. Cortair. Whoa, a lot of people just arrived at my court. They must be relatives of, uh, the lady that our heir just married. Okay, we have a decent amount of money. I kind of want to just motor on this, so get that, uh, barracks going. Okay, uh, I get to learn to specialize in the kind of troop, either light foot, heavy, or mounted. I'm really thinking heavy on this, because that's an advantage we can push. 20% better at leading heavy troops. That's what I'm taking. I honestly wouldn't mind a five-year stint as a scholar just to build an observatory and get a bunch of free science. Well, I say free. You gotta spend a little bit of gold, uh, but it's, it's quite minor considering what you get, especially this early in the game. This Cortair is lazy. I'd rather a chance of getting stressed than a chance of getting, uh, uh no. Okay, never mind. I don't have a chance of uh, becoming slothful. Okay, she just might lose respect for me. I don't care if she loses respect for me. There. Finishes education in the ways of faith. He's a scholarly theologian. Okay, so our brother who hates our guts 
uh, is actually quite educated. Well, uh, he's not amazing at intrigue, so I'm not overly concerned. Because he's totally gonna try and kill me and usurp the throne. Is there already a faction for it? You want Gavilkin succession? Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> There's a faction trying to push for that. Oh, we're gonna play a war game! Yeah, uh, you can actually get some decent traits out of this. This will be fun. May the best warlords win. I believe it says whatever your title is here. Uh, strong frontal attack, assault uh, towards your center flank. What am I skilled at? Um, I don't have any bonus towards either center or flank or anything like that. Uh, slowly withdraw the center, the forces in the center. That way we can get a surround on them. Decides to hold the line when the troops withdraw the center flank. Suggests that uh, we charge the center while the enemy hesitates. I will go with what he says because it won't piss him off. He, and he's my spy master. And if I do something that's not that, it'd piss him off. Uh, yeah, this right here is stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to use the center troops. I'm not going to just split my army in two and prepare a large push up the left flank with support from the center. It's not bad, but I kind of just like this idea, and it's what he recommends anyway. Once our attack managed to break the enemy center, giving us an opportunity to subdue the their split forces with ease. Nice, we won. So we gained one martial skill and 75 prestige. That was very much worth it. We want to get every point of martial skill that we can. It's really valuable to us to be able to crew a big army. Look at that. Look at that new max. We have almost 4k troops. What do they have right now? They got a lot, right? 26 and a half K. It looks like they put down the rebellion. No, they're still in revolt. They got the revolt logo there, but it doesn't look like a revolt is going on. Uh, apparently there's still a revolt going on. Okay, it must be a more localized revolt. Like, uh, one against the local government or something. How is France doing? Mm, a pet rat! Okay. I mean, whatever keeps your health up. I actually kind of want you dead. You're Norse. Did you come in and usurp the throne? He totally usurped the throne. Oh no, he's a carling. Oh, I don't even know what the fuck. The Carling family is a mess. <laughs> Wait, their family prestige... 570. What's my family prestige? Half that, okay. I was wondering, is my family prestige actually higher than the Carling family? Because that would be... That would be impressive. Um, Troops-wise, we're actually kind of catching up to him. And look at the size of our countries in comparison. I am clearly managing my country much better than my competition. Uh, I'm sure my husband will be pleased with this. I'm pregnant! Yay! Don't lead troops when you're pregnant. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and do that before I accidentally do that. Before I go, like, fighting some, uh, go out fighting some Vikings or something. That'd be a problem. Is no man better at increasing the church's opinion from here to teach me a more pious woman than my court chaplain? Uh, okay, hold on. What can I do here? Uh, teach me to be a pious woman or, okay. So Tapple, Temple Vassal opinion goes up for one year. So, uh, by how much was that? 25? Um, that win over a few of my bishops to paying me money for a year. But I mean, that's like 10 ducats. Like this is essentially giving me 10 ducats. Um, whereas this is a year of extra piety. Uh, both give ca uh, capital county prosperity. Uh, this is also pretty lame. Well, that equals out to a grand total of one piety. 1.2 piety. Wow, at least this is a little bit of money. Alright, I'll go for that. And uh, how much did that increase this by? Church tax got added? Yeah, exactly what I thought it'd be. 10 ducats a year. Okay. Now, when can I change this? Uh, the tw uh, July of the of uh, 823. Okay. I knew I wouldn't be able to change it for a while because I had just become 16 recently, and you can only change your focus once every five years. And I think I will do five years as a scholar. Got a kid? He is a genius. He's sickly. God, I hope he doesn't die. 
All right, let's name him after, uh... Oh, what a terrible name. <laughs> We're not gonna name me after your father. Uh, grandfather? Ed Worf. No, Ed Wolf. Okay, misread that. You know, I kind of like Ed Worf more. It sounds less dignified. I want, uh, Ed... Worf. <laughs> You're now Ed Worf. <laughs> I must pray to Jesus. Sorry, Ed Worf. <laughs> Dull pain throbbing behind my eyes. You did just give birth. I don't blame you for having a headache. But if I'm getting cancer, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I've got- I got genius running the family, but I've also got cancer running in the family. And it's a little bit concerning. Um, let's, uh, let's seek medi medical treatment. Uh, we still have recent treatment. For what? I don't even- Oh, well, okay. Apparently I was already in the middle of treatment. I forgot we paid out good money for a really good physician. I hope he takes care of my kid. Attempt to save Ed Worf. We can't let young Ed Worf die. Okay, uh, so I got... Uh, he strapped your two chair and had you sleep upright for days. Jesus! Uh, excellent symptom treatment though, which is like the best you can get. I am... I am sick. I am four times healthier. Than I was before the treatment. Okay, before I got the headache. I gotta vomit. Please just be like food poisoning. I just let it be food poisoning, cause I'll be fine. I'm young. Gotta be praised for this good fortune. Loses sickly. Ah oh, man, I it was so worth the big bucks on this physician. We saved young Edworth. Hold on, let me let me renominate Edworth. You're already better than former depression guy. Uh, when can I change the laws again? I believe I changed them the moment I became of age, didn't I? I'm fairly sure I did. How close am I to the next level of legalism? I'm quite far off. Okay. New heir. Young Prince Edward. I have malaise. I'm getting a little bit concerned that I've got cancer. This is sounding a little bit... cancer. <laughs> you know? Oh, the flu! Hey! I had the flu recently. It sucked. It sucked really bad. Uh, you guys might remember, because I was coughing for episodes and episodes of this playthrough. But, yeah. mild illness and excellent, uh, yeah, excellent symptom treatment. Yeah, I'm perfectly healthy. Like, this, this doesn't really hurt me at all. As long as you know what you're doing. I know I'm brave, but I don't want to have you lop off my arm. You feel better. Nice. Except for treatment. What is this? Uh, presents you the charred carcass of a cat and prompts you to dig in. As you ate, he told you about how he chased the plump feline around your holding for hours. You felt as if you wanted to praise his hard work, but the vile taste of the meal kept you silent. <sighs> cat killing son of a bitch. I should have him killed on the spot. Well, I don't have the flu though. He's lucky he's a good physician. Because cat killing? Killing a random cat walking around. Could have been someone's pet cat. I'm a cat guy. I'll kill ya. That! I'll throw you straight in the, uh, I'll throw you I'll, I'll brand you an apostate. We know what we do to apostates, even if they're our kinsmen. We kill them not knowing we'll become a kinslayer. I thought that was just for, like, murder or something. Like, does it- Does- The Pope would have wanted me to do it, doesn't that make it okay? Oh wait, the Pope was like Satan, wasn't he? Didn't we dispose of that Pope? Yeah, I think we just had an awful Pope. Maybe I shouldn't compare myself to the Pope. Alright, uh, barracks done. Nice. And you have successfully, um, pissed these people off some more in Toledo. Nice. Gotten the people to dislike the Sultan some more. Um, I know it says he's not a Sultan, but I'm just gonna call him a Sultan because I don't know how to pronounce the other thing. He desires my kingdom, and he desires Leon. Annie Zeldis, and I'm an infidel. He really doesn't like me. And he has a lot of troops. He's probably afraid that if he holy wars me, that uh, everyone else is gonna enjoy- Oh, Jesus. Middle Frank, he is back. I don't suppose they wanna ally with me. Oh, hey, it's a guy who looks like a carling, but isn't, apparently. Um, why can I declare war on you? I can just cl Oh, I have a weak claim on him. I'm fairly sure I've got a few weak claims, and I really don't want to use them. I don't want to piss these guys off. Wow, I have a bigger army than West Frankie. Can I actually press a weak claim on West Frankie right now? I can press a weak claim on Galloway. That's not happening. <laughs> I'm not going to Galloway. 
I am not. I'm not going to Galloway. I could learn shipbuilding right now and go start like pressing claims in Ireland or something to start fabricating claims in Ireland. I could do that. It'd be really easy. It's more than slightly tempting. I could actually boat up there and take Galloway. It'd be funny. <sighs> okay, hold on. Let's consider. Let's really consider this. Let's have some of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, and then we have that that one in <laughs> right there. What an odd one. How strong is your army? Weaker than mine. Yeah, it's weaker than mine. That's tempting. Galloway's army would get just annihilated by me. And the person whose claim I'm pushing, it's my husband. Ooh, so that would join, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would become my land, wouldn't it? Or does he have to be a vassal? I don't think he's my vassal. Yeah, he's not my vassal, so I don't know if it would count. Or if he would just leave the kingdom. I'm actually curious. Uh, I'm not sure how that would count. What pacts? Okay, nothing scary. You got a non-aggression pact with my... Uh, oh, this would make me a truce breaker, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't. Okay. Then... Uh, yeah, if we win, then uh, he would gain the chiefdom of Galloway. Uh, yeah, I don't think it would actually join our land. Damn, that would have been hilarious. Uh, I wouldn't mind cleaning up some of the better places here, though. Like, I want Middlesex. It's the best county in the British Isles. Look at that. Look how many castles are in there. You could make that pretty powerful. Uh, okay. Um, let's, let's upgrade some more. Get another keep going. Uh, open council position, court chaplain. Okay, and an arranged marriage. Kinsman, kinswoman. Oh god, fucking incest. Who are you? Uh, no, I don't want inbreeding traits running through my family who could get elected. Pick someone else. It's a big world. Alright, who's our best possible chaplain? Is our physician. He's really good. I don't mind him doing double duty. He's really, really talented. Depopulation down there. We actually got rid of our depopulation, which is nice. I still don't want to do a war right now, though, because Sea Realm Prosper. Okay, keep done in the capital. Nice. Uh, yeah, they can. Some random Corterra can be less slothful around me. I don't care if they lose respect for me. Okay, uh, that is pretty good. And what do I need for level 4 keep? Improved keeps level 4 or higher. Okay, that's a while off. Very expensive, but very good. Look at that, 30% total. Levy size and garrison size increase. Crap, I just want to get the, music, the sound effects to go away. Castle fortification. Uh, there's not a whole lot we can do in that castle now, but I really want to stack stuff in that castle. Because man, does it get us a big army. Look at that. Could you use someone to train with? Absolutely, become close friends with this random person. Why not? Okay. We've gotten quite powerful. I'm thinking we might want to start taking... I just... Mm, I wish they would get a big rebellion, and then that's when I could take advantage, you know? What I'm doing now... He's really low on cash, and he's losing money. Is it because he's crewing his army? Against a revolt all the way over there, really. Now would be a passable time to declare war. But I want to see the realm prosper. It's really good. Gain a stewardship, which is nice. Mostly, I just want my counties to prosper, especially after all that disease. Okay, we're going to let that go. But um, I feel like we're at the point now where the second we get a golden opportunity, we deal with this. 
I want this country falling apart. He's got too big of a stamina size. His or domain size. His country must hate his guts. And we're doing a decent job of sowing dissent. Pregnant again, sweet. Uh, okay, what is this? Being such an industrious ruler, um, you have not gone unnoticed by the population. Nice. This must be because I am um, seeing the realm prosper. Uh, by paying the country element personal visit, surely be inspired. Okay, small donation would go a long way. Um, there we go. Prosperity increases. And local build time is down for a little while. Inspired peasantry. And that is in this county. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's not even that expensive. Give them below look like ants. That's, that's, uh, am I about to get pushed off of this? Ooh. I just random died. Let me just, let me just, let me just, before we accept this, do I want to change my vote? How old it? You're one, but you're a genius, but you're one. Oh, you don't like me. I'm gonna leave it there. Are you guys ready for another 15 year Regency? Cause boy howdy am I. She was 20! She was only 20! God, it gave up the ghost of 20. She died under sus suspicious circumstances. I was totally assassinated by a family member. It was totally my brother, wasn't it? Well known to be prone of to cardinal sins. Just because she was lustful. She was often unfaithful to- uh, No, not even once! Not even once! A fucking history book. A wicked woman shall pay for her sins in the afterlife. Fuck off. Oh, young King Edwarf. Mere one year old. The realm is left in the capable hands of the regent council. Long live King Edwarf. New heir is the brother, which pretty much guarantees he's gonna kill me. I hope he likes me. Oh fuck, he's my regent! The heir is the regent, he's gonna try and kill me. Can I bribe him? Oh, that won't impress him at all. Uh-huh. Well, you don't want to be court jester, that's for sure. I don't want you to be my cup bearer, you're gonna poison me. I don't want you to be my sippy cup, cup bearer. You can be the master of the horse. Do you like me now? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Crown focus. I need to nominate a successor. I'm gonna nominate you. Don't kill me. <laughs> Don't kill me. He likes me a little more because of that. Yay. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, we lost our awesome Marshall. Can we get him back? Nuno's crippled. Isn't he the maimed one? No, he's... he's okay. Okay. I mean, I kind of rather get the genius. Because he's not paranoid like this guy. We're gonna... we're gonna have our, uh, father stay the Marshall. He's... he's quite good. Chancellor! You're not good. Can I- can I have a good one? Can I buy the good variety of Chancellor? You are good. I will invite you. And Chaplin will stick with this awesome guy. Is he still our physician? Yes. Okay. Oh man, does life suck. Um... Time for another really long Regency. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um... I'm gonna take a little break to try and game plan this a little bit. Uh, we will be an adult in 15 years. Not until 837. Alright. What's our army size like? Significantly lower. About a thousand lower. I'm gonna go game plan this. Until next time, have a nice day.